Oh man, it's already the 20th? Summer break's almost over. Not that I got anything to do. You think with special powers, the rest of the world wouldn't be so boring? Hmm? What's she doing? Drawing? She's some kind of caricature artist? Nah, no way. There's no one around for her to draw. What the heck is she drawing then? There's nothing interesting here. Out of the way. You're blocking my view. Move. Huh? Oh, sorry. Oh, what's with those funky colors? What do you want? No, uh, nothing. My bad. Dude, how can she stand to wear that crazy outfit in this heat? And what was up with that weird drawing? I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Eh. Oh well. No. No means no. Negotiating with Koromaru-san. Koromaru-san is prohibited from going out for a walk on his own. There were arrangements for Sonata-san to accompany Koromaru-san on his walk today. However, the scheduled time has passed, and Sonata-san has yet to return. Koromaru-san's patience has reached its limit. <laughs> Koromaru-san is requesting that you accompany him instead. Are you available to assist at the moment? You are what they call a lifesaver. human persona user now that is certainly unique very unique however my fascination lies more with you good evening there's no need for hostility now is hardly the time let's have a little chat come along where's akihiko though that's my main question why didn't he return it doesn't seem to be hostile what should i do What exactly are you waiting for? Now then, I have a question for you. Ask away. However, just demanding answers from you wouldn't be a very fair arrangement, now would it? I will answer one question of your own first. So, what do you want to know? That is a strange way of seeing it. From our perspective, you are the ones getting in our way. In the potato, beginning, potato. we had no quarrel with you. Had you not decided to eliminate the Dark Hour, we wouldn't have had a reason to interfere. It is truly unfathomable. The power of a persona is a blessing granted only to us. Yet... You insist on ending the Dark Hour, knowing full well that your powers will be lost. Now, answer me this. Why? Are you trying to protect the world from the shadows? Is that truly how you feel? In this country, almost 5,000 people die in car accidents every year. And yet... Bro. There is no outcry against the existence of cars. Why do you suppose that is? It is because we value our own convenience over the lives of others. So then, why should we give up the powers we were bestowed? <laughs> do you know what a savior complex is? 
You are being trapped by a misguided way of thinking. We have no obligation to sacrifice what is ours to save others. Giving up your own life to save others is simply a waste. Your reason for fighting is one of obsession. I can agree to an extent. <laughs> your dog doesn't seem to like your answer. However, self-reflection is a good habit. You should think carefully about it. We have been given a special power. And yours... Yours is particularly extraordinary. It's as if the Dark Hour has chosen you. Does it really make sense for you to reject this gift? That when you put it that way... That's all I had to say. Tonight is a new moon. You have ample time to reconsider before the moon waxes full again. I don't like how he said that. <laughs> Folded paper. With that, my debt to you is paid. Perhaps it might help you make up your mind. Well then. That was interesting. I, I trust you'll have changed your tune by the next time we meet. It's a folded up piece of paper. There's something written on it. The new gear has eased summoning, but we need to make new safety cartridges before handing them off to MK. The evoker weight is also an urgent matter. Fortunately, ample test subjects remain to... The MK, that sounds very familiar for like Persona 5. I returned to the dorm report of what happened. Okay. Interesting cutscene there. Uh, he just did. <laughs> oh, just when I was about to brush him. Oh, he knew. <laughs> Wait, is that bad? Again. He likes to step out front every so often to get some sunlight. Ooh, thank goodness. Well, I guess it's not a big deal if he's just basking in the sun. Korochan would never bite or bark at people anyway. I agree with you there. Sure. <laughs> However, we still have the responsibility of being his owners. I don't want to restrict his freedom too much, but we still have to be mindful. I've been getting him to come back in whenever I notice he's gone out. Try to do the same if you ever happen to see him outside. Okay, so now we gotta watch where Koro is at. <laughs> come on, Koromaru. It's time to come in. Responsibility, huh? Yeah, I guess that's true. He may be a Persona user, but he is still a dog. I see Koromaru outside, I should call him out. Or I should call out to him. I mean, sounds easy enough. I'll come back as many times as I need to. I don't give up that easy. And my answer will be the same every time. I'm not going back. Actually, we got a new team member. Did you know animals can use personas too? Wait, what'd you just say? He's a dog. He lost his master to the shadows six months ago. And he's incredibly loyal too. Up until now, he's been guarding the spot where his master was killed. It's been rough for him, but he's making the most of it. Join us. Huh? Join oh, us. It's Sonata san. Who? Huh? Who's he talking to? I wouldn't want to butt in. We saw someone die right before our eyes, too. It'll be two years this October. <sighs> someone died? How long are you going to beat yourself up over that? That's why you're always behind the station. Even though you don't actually hang out with anyone there. Doesn't matter. It was my fault. Nothing's ever going to change that. What does it matter if I come to terms with it? it won't change the past. You could help this us. This like it was with your sister. What happened to Miki was different. Shinji. What happened is, is Miki? I just... <laughs> Y'all just drop her names like nothing. Happened. Two 
two years ago? <sighs> no way. It's him. So, his name is Shinji. So, I guess he was related to someone? Interesting. Mitsuru. Sorry for interrupting, but do you have a moment to talk? I mean, I guess. Good morning. The chairman is visiting again tonight. When the time comes, let's all meet up in the command room. I'll see you then. Okay. Could have just sent that as like a text message or something, you know? One's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Come on in. Excuse me. I hope I'm not interrupting. Just not Ken. Huh? Amada Kun? <clears throat> no way. Based on our testing results, we've confirmed he has more than enough potential. They give so us a hell of team members to, to choose from to now, right? To the rest of the squad. Is he a healer? Wait, Mr. Chairman, he's only in elementary school. And besides, besides what? We've already confirmed he has the potential. With training, he should be a valuable asset to the team. Did he say he was okay with this? Actually, it was my idea to join. I feel like I can help too. And I think I finally understand why I have this power. Hmm? As you can see, it was his own decision. Looking forward to working with you. I'll try not to get in anyone's way. I look forward to working with you as well. Thank you. I'm hoping to learn a lot. So I guess we got to bring juice boxes and like crackers now with us for this hey, kid to snack on worry, while we're exploring. You got your back. It might get tough, but you got to work hard and stick with it. Understood. Yet another new ally has joined. See, they even they're kind of tired of like. The roster expanding. Kanamata, he seems very level-headed for an elementary school student. As the team leader, I need to give him proper support. All right, well, let's look and see what his stats are even looking like. Pierce type. Nemesis is his persona. Oh. All right. And yeah, it looks like he's a, a healer. So he could do electric and light? Wow, that's nice. Because now that makes me want to low-key swap Yukari out. <laughs> but... Mm, I don't know, maybe Akihiko hasn't been like as useful. But actually, let's look at his, uh, his theurgy as well. Once his SP is less than half, his competitiveness is incited. Deals severe light damage to one foe. Why do we all have, like, different numbers? I just noticed that. For, like, these theurgies. Zero, one, two... Yeah, we're missing some more members then, I guess. <laughs> and pretty soon, I'm gonna be a third year. Man, time goes by way too fast. Oh, it's her. And she's John again, huh? You again? Oh, well, uh, actually, I'm surprised you remember me. I could say the same about you. I mean, your outfit is pretty memorable. Oh. So, uh, what are you working on? A drawing. Why? Uh, no real reason. 
I guess. I just thought it's pretty awesome to have something you're passionate about. It's nothing like that. I'm just drawing because I feel like it. Oh. Huh. Well, I still want to see it when you're done. If you don't mind. Are we being visited by Pharos now? Yup. Hi there. Hey. I thought I'd remind you. There's only a week left until the next full moon. Are you ready? There are only a few trials left. So, make sure to be careful out there. I'll see you again sometime. Fancy meeting you here, huh? You're the one who keeps coming back. I'm Junpei. What's your name? You from around here? <sighs> oh, not even listening, huh? <laughs> Here's... Wait, whoa, your hand! What the hell happened? You're bleeding! What's wrong with you? Can't you mind your own business? Are you kidding? I can't just ignore that. Nah, uh, gotta have something. Give me your hand. I can wrap it up with this handkerchief. Why are you panicking? Huh? <laughs> Who wouldn't be freaking out right now? You gotta get to a doctor. Uh, do you want me to go with you? Hell no. <sighs> You're a weird one. Yeah, she just said, fuck out my face. Story. Huh? My name. You asked, didn't you, Junpei? I'm almost finished with the drawing. I doubt you'll be able to understand it. But if you want to see it so badly, then you know where to find me. Ooh, Riz game strong, huh? What up, y'all? Y'all been waiting for me? Waiting for a real one? For first day back. Well, you two have perfect timing. Perfect timing? For what? Hey, Fuka! Is Igus ready? Oh, dang. They're bringing her to school with us? Or is that like her... He's like uniform or something. Huh? Why is she wearing a school uniform? What's going on here? She said she wanted to go to school with us. So I told the others as a joke. But the chairman actually agreed. So now she's gonna start as a second year tomorrow. Seriously? He's down with that? Makes no sense. No he sense at all. Something about studying her behavior in a social environment. Well, if he's cool with it, then I guess it's all right. Besides, I'd say it looks pretty good on her. Maybe even you. The school camouflage that Fuka-san <laughs> provided is more than appropriate. It looks very natural on you. No one will suspect a thing. But why do you want to go to school? It's not like it's interesting. As the second semester commences, I intend to synchronize my schedule with everyone for maximum efficiency. If I remain here on standby, it could affect our deployment efficiency. To accommodate, I requested reassignment alongside our squad leader. Oh, so you're in my class now? Huh? Why do I feel like you being at school would make that even worse? I will make any necessary adaptations as the situation evolves. Just don't answer all the questions. Uh, sure, you do that. He says, I want to go to school too. Too bad you can't. Koromaru, no, you definitely have to stay here, okay? So this is like the the first time that they've like given us something at lunchtime, I think. Okay. I was planning to go to Tartarus on the third. But I think I gotta go with Sonata just to see about what's gonna go on with like the store with them, right? There you are. I've got an errand I want you to help me with. Let's go. Maybe not. Maybe it won't use my, my evening. 
Oh, okay. Really starting to piss me off. Things have changed. Sorry, but I'm not taking no for an answer this time. What? This belongs to you. <sighs> There's a new threat. Persona users just like us. <sighs> so? That's not my problem. That's not everything. Amada has joined our team. <sighs> what the hell do you mean? He has the potential, and Ikutsuki san approved it. He's a Persona user now. I don't believe it. <sighs> Tell me one more thing. Was it his decision to join? Yeah. He came to us. I see. <sighs> then, I guess I'll stick around. So, you're in charge now, huh? Oh yeah, what's up? I got a question for you. What are you fighting for? Your mama, bitch. I see. Well, you do you. You gotta work together either way. My old room's still empty? Yeah. Oh, he's moving back in already? Just like that? Yet another new ally has joined. Shinjiro Aragaki. He's a year older than me and seems to have lived in the dorm before. Though shrouded in mystery, he seems to be a reliable partner. Y'all not really like giving us too much insight on these on these people when they join us now. Cause now I gotta go look and see what the heck he can do. Strike type just like uh oh boy, Hierophant Pastor. Wait, what the His persona is like uh Akihiko's and like, uh, what was it? Like the Death Rider or something. Bloody charge. Consume HP to increase critical rate and next physical attack damage. That's a lot though. Fatal end. But he has no weaknesses. Like that's, that's like the cool thing. But it's like, my guy just chips away at his own health in order to, to kick ass. And then his theurgy. Once his HP is less than half, his determination excites. Deals severe strike damage to one foe. Bleeding fear. See, none of these seem like they're worth it. I'll probably swap out Akihiko with Ken. Or something. Um, excuse me. Sir, yes, sir. Will you please add me as a member in today's search party? I want to participate in lots of battles and get used to handling my persona. Sure. All right. I hope I can prove myself useful to all of you. Oh, yes. So you're the one that decides the battle formation. Sure am. Get back into the swing of things as quickly as possible. You get what I'm saying, right? Yeah, but probably not gonna play trash. All right. This place is just as creepy as I remember. Well, I'm here if you need me. Yeah, just stay on the sidelines, buddy. Oh, he's Hello, back. Chidori. How's your hand doing? There's no scar. Not even a mark? Maybe it wasn't that bad? <sighs> Say, Junpei, what do you do to make yourself feel alive? <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. Breathe, I guess? You know, I can't say I've ever thought about it. How about you, Chidori? Is that how you feel when you draw? Nope. I don't know. Most of these are just scribbles. I don't really understand myself it's kind of weird that we didn't oh. see her when we huh. went up against strega at the last full moon to tell you the truth there is one thing that makes me feel alive 
It's when I sort of, uh, get to play the hero, I guess. In the darkest hour, unknown to all but a few, the chosen ones stand against the forces of evil. Our hero this is why he doesn't get women. Fights to protect the world from these terrifying monsters. <laughs> well, you get the idea. That's when I feel most alive. Um, this is the part where you're supposed to laugh. So, do you fight all alone? <laughs> hey, I was just kidding around. You fight during a time that no one is aware of, right? That means no one knows what you've been doing. So, you're fighting even though you'll never get any recognition for anything. I'm impressed. I guess I misjudged you. <laughs> The way she put it, like that. Uh, really? I didn't think you'd actually believe me. Can you tell me more? You know, you're kind of the weird one. You're trying to get mm. some, some inside knowledge from, from our boy, it's huh? It's okay, but you're sworn to secrecy. Got it? Mm-hmm. So, there's this special power called a persona. And that's what we use to defeat the monsters. But not everyone can use a persona. That's what I meant by the chosen ones. My friends are fighting too. And not to brag, but we haven't lost a single fight since. Right, now she's gonna like whoop our ass at this full moon. Like a lot of fun. If you haven't lost a single fight, that must mean you're really strong. <laughs> yeah, sorta. I guess you could kind of say I'm the leader. Oh my gosh, this dude. I mean, without me, things would just fall apart. I haven't, I haven't had you in a party in, in how long, stuff, my guy? No, it's a lot of work being in charge. Thank you, Junpei. I had a lot of fun today. You, you did? It's time for me to go. I'll see you tomorrow, right? See you tomorrow, huh? Yes! He's like, it's a date. I got a date. And they got they gave me two choices here. Oh, that's for Coral. No, we're not gonna hang out with him. I'm sorry. I'd appreciate it if you could deliver that to Arigaki. Tell him it's from me, he'll know what's inside. School reinstatement form. I'm sure you're already aware, but Aragaki is a student out of school who's currently on a leave of absence. If he's in good health, I believe it's in his best interest to start attending classes again. But no matter what I or even Akihiko say to him, he won't even have any. So I'm changing my approach. Perhaps he may be able to get through him. This student seems to be in need of help. I guess I should accept. Yeah, whatever. We gotta get him to go to school. Bone to pick or something? So, what do you want? What's this supposed to be? Why do you have this? Hmm. Oh, now I get it. Kirijo put you up to this. She's tried this a few times already. I knew this envelope looked familiar. Think for yourself for once. Don't just go along with what everyone asks. Mind your own damn business. Why are you all like this? But I guess you can't. Explains why you've accepted being leader. Hm. We done? Then get out of here. Thanks for going through all that trouble. Maybe I'll treat you to a meal sometime. What? You got a problem with that? I told
told you to get going. I already got plans. It doesn't matter. I'll be back by tonight. That's why I rejoined in the first place. Yes, sir. The operation, huh? When it comes down to it, we're fighting to protect her too. Wow, thinking about it like that. Oh my gosh, this dude, up. such a sin. Maybe we really are like heroes of justice. All right. Don't move. Huh? Wait, that voice. You done kidnapped Junpei, huh? Could have just went inside, dude. Tonight marks the sixth full moon. Have you found the shadow? Yes. It's near Polonia Mall, I think. For some reason, I can't quite pinpoint its location. I'm trying to narrow it down, though. Is that part of its power? Sorry, I'm not really sure about that either. We have enough to go on. Amada, did you find him? No, I can't find Junpei-san anywhere. His backpack isn't here, so I don't think he's been home yet. What is he doing? He knows tonight's a full moon. I'm not picking up a signal anywhere near the dorm either. Should I take more time to look for him, just in case? No, it's okay. You're young. Sometimes you just get in one of those moods. For now, though, we need to focus our attention on the shadow. Hmm. I don't know, the way he tries, just kind of dismiss looking for Junpei we can't afford to waste doesn't sit right. <laughs> we need to get moving. Let's go. Hold up. Did Junpei say anything about this? All right, then. Any luck? Yeah, look at the yeah, fountain with, like, the blood. Presence. It seems so close, but I can't reach it. All right, we can split up and search for it. There's no time to lose, so let's hurry. Wait! Please, I can do it! This is what I'm here for! Okay, then do it! Bam! Feel the movement of the earth through your fingertips. Hear the answer of the wind flow through your hair. Hurry up! Taste Damn. the knowledge of the water on your lips. Tell me, Lucia, what shrouds me from the truth? Hey, is she okay? No, she's not. She's just chanting Don't bullshit. Get concentration. <laughs> this is some kind of web beneath us. Beneath us. A web. Perhaps it's related to the old power cables underground. Back when the island was still being developed, this is where the main power station was located. Underground cables. Yes. A large number of power cables remain underground in a sprawling network, much like a web. So that's what's interfering with her ability? Thank you, I guess. I figured it out now. It's not that the cables are interfering. The cables themselves have been possessed by the shadow. They what? So everything under our feet is part of the shadow. No wonder you couldn't pinpoint it. It's covering this entire area. How are we supposed to beat something like that? 
hiding underground, huh? Ooh. Ow. I can't believe how easy it was hard. to sneak up on you. Is the rest of your team as oblivious? Damn it. I can't fight back like this. This isn't funny, Chidori. I want you to do something for me. I have orders for you to pass along to your team. You can at least communicate with them, can't you? My team? Orders? Do as I say, and you won't be harmed. All you have to do is call off your operation. Easy, right? And not just the one tonight. All of them. All of them? You want me to cancel the operation? No way. You're not one of them, are you? Quit wasting time. <sighs> so the Shadow controls a whole underground network? This is a problem. We have no means of attack. Your notes from previous battles mentioned a Shadow that was able to take control of the monorail. I'm guessing this Shadow must have its own body, just like that one. We just gotta find it. Let me see if I can pinpoint it. <sighs> Luca. Even if we know where it is, we still have to get to it. If it's abandoned, there may still be a way to enter the facility where the cables converge. We'll see. All right, sweet. It's here in the mall. In here, it's inside a small chamber underground. It's rectangular, so I assume it's man made. Is it some sort of basement? Wait a minute. I overheard the manager of Escapade a while back. He was saying the power supply has been acting up lately. There was a big outage because of it that forced him to cancel some important event. An outage? Yeah. Mentioned they remodeled the basement into a control room a while ago. Maybe we should take a look. That's gotta be it! Good job, Yamagishi. Alright, as soon as we're ready, we'll make our move. I mean, I guess we ready, right? I don't use Junpei yes. at all. We got Yukari, Koro, and uh, Mitsuru on the team. The cables are feeding into its body, so it might use the electricity to attack. Please be careful. That use electricity. Damn, so that means I got a guard with though, girl, huh? Good thing I blocked. What's the plan here? Can I scan on this enemy? No weaknesses. Great, great. I don't think we can charm, right? Yeah. Bosses are like immune from that.
Damn, it's gonna take a lot of damn damage from this thing. We just gonna guard because we don't know what to expect. Let's see what we can do. Just keep attacking it then. Oh, 
5 volts current? Damn, that was kind of intense, right? I totally forgot that move does more damage at the full moon. This will definitely do a lot to knock him out of that charge. Look at that. Already doing hella damage. Accelerated charging? We're all blocking. Dang, they did a lot. Go for it. 
We're almost there. This gonna do it? I think this might do it. Yo, let's go. 771. Damn, girl. All right. 34K. Holy crud. But now where's Junpei? I can't sense it anymore. Nice work, everyone. Oh, by the way, I think I sensed Junpei Kun earlier. He's back at the dorm, but something fell off. The chairman's there too, so he should be okay. But we should hurry back, just in case. Yeah, I don't like the way she's saying this. Looks like they've completed their operation. What? You can tell? I see it. Through Medea's eyes. Medea? My friend. Her persona. Hidori? That's not important. Why didn't you call off the operation? Is your mission worth your life? Dying is what people fear the most, is it not? Well. I've never actually given anyone orders before. They wouldn't listen to me, even if I tried. You see, uh, I'm not really the one in charge. So, you were lying earlier? Why? I don't understand. To impress you. Hey, can you tell me one thing? Was it all just an act? The way we met at the station, that cut on your hand, the drawings. Were you just setting me up? Now that I think about it, a real cut wouldn't have disappeared that fast. <laughs> I see how it is. That was... Junpei! Damn, we got back here quick. Back already? An evoker? She's a persona user? Medea, come. It's time to tackle. Uh, Senpai, her evoker. No, give it back. Sorry, but we can't let you use this. What's all the fuss of? What? When did she? I guess restrain her. Understood. Medea! I... I didn't even sense her until now. This is the only thing I can do, and yet... Even we couldn't sense her. She must have the ability to conceal her presence. I certainly didn't have the slightest clue she was here. I have a number of questions for you. Are you a member of that group called Strega? Uh, I'm not... Afraid of dying. That's not what we asked. Shidori? Medea, I'm. It looks like she's too emotionally unstable for an interrogation. Let's check in on her later, after she's had some time to calm down. I'll go ahead and arrange a hospital room for her. She'll have to be placed under watch, but I'm sure she understands. Shidori. We succeeded in defeating the Shadow this month, too. There should be fewer victims for a while. But a new adversary has emerged. What will happen now? I'm exhausted. I should get some rest. Yeah, we conquered that kind of easily, in a sense. Just had a block with Oh girl. I'll ask you one more time. Is Chidori your real name? <sighs> what kind of organization is Strega? Are there others besides you three? <sighs> no fucks given. <laughs> hey! Wait, Junpei! You're not supposed to be here, remember? Chidori! He said, fuck all that noise. I need to see what's up with our girl. Sorry. 
He wouldn't stop asking about where she was. How are you feeling? Looks like you calmed down now. <sighs> she certainly has. In fact, she won't say a word. Maybe we should confiscate her sketchbook, too. Come on, you don't have to go that far. Taking that away isn't gonna make her talk. I'm not so sure. She was quite upset when we took her evoker. Speaking of which, where did you get your hands on that? Ichiya. Give it back to me! I want her back! Hey, didn't I tell you not to bring that up? What else am I supposed to do? I'll have someone else try next time. Why? Why did you take her from me? Tia. Takeba, call a nurse. We're done for today. I'll let Ikutsuki-san know we're having difficulties. Oh, okay. Come on, Junpei. Let's go. Chidori. What happened to you? Damn. Well, guys, with that, I'm going to end the episode off right here. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps with the video a lot. And also subscribe to my channel because it lets me know you enjoy the content you see right here. But with that said, stay sharp. Later.